Changes in Girls During Puberty The changes which occur in girls are due to female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone made in ovaries. The changes which occur in girls at puberty are Hair grows under armpits and in pubic region. Memory glands or breast size begins to increase. The hips get broadened. Extra fat is deposited in various parts of the body like hips and thighs. Fallopian tubes, uterus and vagina enlarge. Ovaries start to release eggs. Menstruation starts. All of these changes are related to the sexual maturation of the person. Let us see how all these changes in the body during puberty are linked to sexual reproduction. To perform sexual reproduction, animals should be sexually mature. We know that in sexual reproduction, the gametes form two individuals joined together. The transfer of gametes between two human beings requires special organs such as the penis and vagina. After the transfer of male gamete to female body fertilization of egg takes place. This fertilized egg develops into a new individual. In mammals, for example, in humans, the baby is carried in the mother's body for a long period and after birth need to be breastfed for at least one year. So, the female reproductive organs and breast will require maturing to accommodate these possibilities. Now, let us study the systems involved in the process of sexual reproduction. First, we will study the organs of male reproductive system in detail. The human male reproductive system contains the following organs. Testis scrotum, epididermis, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, prostate gland, penis. Main organs of male reproductive system is testes. Testes are the primary reproductive organs in man. A man has two testes. Testes are the oval shaped organs which lie outside the abdominal cavity of a man. The function of testes is to make the male sex cells or male gametes called sperms and also to make the male sex hormone called testosterone. The sperms are tiny bodies that consist of mainly genetic material and a long tail that helps them to move towards the female germ cell. Testosterone is responsible for changes that take place in boys at the time of puberty.
Next organ is scrotum. The testes hang in a pouch like structure outside the pelvis called the scrotum. This bag of skin helps to regulate the temperature of testes which need to be kept cooler than body temperature to produce sperm. The scrotum changes size to maintain the right temperature. Scotum also contains epididymis along with testes. It is coiled tube like structure. The sperms get stored temporarily in epididymis. Epididymis leads to the vas deferens. It is a long tube which carries the sperms from epididymis and join with a tube called urethra coming from the urinary bladder. Two glands found in male reproductive system are prostate gland and seminal vesicles. The seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches that attach to the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. The seminal vesicles produce a fluid that provides sperm with a source of energy and helps with the sperm's mortality. This fluid is called semen. The prostate gland is a walnut sized structure that is located below the urinary bladder in front of the rectum. The prostate gland contributes additional fluid to the semen. Prostate fluids also help to nourish the sperm. <laughs>